Hi, I'm Mike Fegis, an 8th grade LA teacher and Power of the Pen coach at Hudson Middle School, and I want to welcome all of you to the 2021 Virtual Awards Ceremony for Power of the Pens Lake Erie Regional Tournament hosted by Hudson Middle School. I'm so sorry that you couldn't come to our new home this year, but we're just glad we were able to write it all. We hope to see you all here next year. That's the plan and hopefully we'll be unmasked. Before we start, we need to send out a special thank you to our tournament sponsors, the Kiwanis Club of Hudson and the Hudson Parent Teacher Organization, or PTO. Both of these organizations have been sponsors for as long as I've been a coach here at HMS, and we couldn't have a program or a regional tournament without their generous support. Kiwanis and PTO, we appreciate your support more than you'll ever know. We thank the coaches for their commitment to these writing teams. Under your guidance, these young writers have blossomed throughout the season. Judges, thank you for the time and effort you have invested to make sure that every participating writer in this tournament receives support and encouragement, as well as ideas for ways to strengthen their writing. Writers, we're proud of you for qualifying for the regional tournament. You are among the best and most dedicated writers in the state. Through your writing, you are connecting with readers and helping them to know that they are not alone with life's struggles and celebrations. Everyone who reads your writing is changed in some way by what you have to say. Friends and family, thank you for joining us during this virtual awards ceremony and for supporting these wonderful young writers. Here's a quick overview of how online regional tournaments work. There are three 40-minute rounds of writing. In each round, students write a piece based on a prompt that is made available to them when they begin the round. With virtual tournaments, student writing is emailed to judges who read and score each piece. Pieces earn a rank score from 1 to 6, with 1 being the best, and they also are assigned a quality point score that ranges from 75 points to 100 points. Here's a couple of details about our tournament in particular. The Hudson Tourney took place on Saturday, March 13th. 29 schools participated in the Lake Erie Regional event. There were 72 students who wrote at the 7th grade level, and there were 61 students who wrote at the 8th grade level. The top 12 writers in each grade level are honored with awards. The writers in 4th through 12th place will receive a medallion. The third place winner at each grade level will receive a bronze medal, the second place winner a silver medal, and the first place winner will receive a small plastic cup filled with cottage cheese. Actually, I'm kidding. I figured all of you knew that a gold medal was going to be awarded to the first place winner, but I wanted to switch things up a bit because it's been that kind of year. Please be patient with receiving the awards because they need to be organized and then they need to be hand delivered. We'll be distributing them just as soon as humanly possible. Now it's time for the individual awards. Students who place in the top 12 qualify for the online state tournament, which will take place on May 15, 2021, with virtual host Otterbein University. In addition, at least the top 20% of the writers in the regional tournament will qualify for the online state tournament. We will notify each school of its state qualifiers within a few days after this awards ceremony. And with that, we're on to the part that you logged in for. Let's find out who the individual winners at the seventh grade level were. Starting in 12th place from Shaker Heights Middle School, Daniel Carroll. In 11th place from Hudson Middle School, Magnolia Dryden. In 10th place from Mayfield Middle School, Talia Diastolfo. In 9th place from Kirtland Middle School, Naomi Wooliger. In 8th place from Memorial Middle School, Aisha Faruqi. In 7th place from Shaker Heights Middle School, Alexa Carpenter. In 6th place from Hudson Middle School, Becca Carter. In 5th place from Beechwood Middle School, Lindia Zhang and in fourth place from West Jaga Middle School, Parker Pacifico. And now, here are the top three seventh grade writers from this year's Lake Erie Regional Tournament. In third place, from University School, Ian Broyheer. He placed first, first, and second regarding his ranks, and he had a total quality point score of 285. In second place for seventh grade, from University School as well, was Adonis Wozni who placed second in the first round, first in the second round, if you can keep that straight, and first in the third round. Adonis had an impressive 289 quality points. And the first place winner in seventh grade at this year's regional tournament is from Shaker Heights Middle School, and her name is Isabel Siegel. Isabel placed first in all three rounds, and her quality point scores were equally impressive. In the first round, she had 100 quality points, in the second round, she had 96, 
and in the third round she had 99 quality points for a total of 295 quality points. Congratulations all writers, and in particular the top three. You were fantastic. Now, here are the individual awards for the 8th grade writers. In 12th place from Solon Middle School, Isabella Liu. In 11th place from Ruffing Montessori School, William Larkin. In 10th place from Mandel Jewish Day School, Lily Chaitan. In 9th place from Hudson Middle School, Hannah Lee. In 8th place from Notre Dame Elementary School, Anna Gracken. In 7th place from Mandel Jewish Day School, Caroline Auerbach Brown. In 6th place from Mayfield Middle School, Rhea Deshbane. In 5th place from Shaker Heights Middle School, Ingrid Holda. And in 4th place from Solon Middle School, Olivia Liu. And now we move on to the top 3 8th grade writers from this year's Lake Erie Regional Tournament. In third place from Solon Middle School, Nina Van Zandway. She placed first in all three of her rounds for a perfect roll rank point score of 300, and she had 281 quality points. In second place, from Shaker Heights Middle School, Zoe Stiefel. Zoe also placed first in all three of her rounds for 300 rank points, and she had 286 quality points. And now we've come to the big moment for the eighth grade writers. The number one writer in 8th grade this year at the 2021 Lake Erie Regional Tournament is from Solon Middle School and her name is Mandy Liu. Mandy placed first in all three rounds of writing and she had an impressive 99 quality points in round 1, 96 quality points in round 2, and 99 quality points in round 3 for a grand total of 294 quality points. And if you haven't been keeping track at home, each of the top three writers placed first in all of their three rounds, which is really amazing if you think about it. I think all of us as writers have at one point or another written a piece that we were very proud of. And sometimes when we go back and look at it, we think, wow, how did I ever write that? You know, I was really in the zone. What impresses me about these three writers in particular is that it's consistency that defines who they are as writers. This wasn't a flash in the pan, a one-time thing that they got a first place in a round. They do this all of the time, and that kind of consistency is really impressive. Congratulations, top 12 writers, and congratulations in particular to the top three writers in eighth grade. Now we move on to the best of round awards for the seventh grade from this year's Lake Erie Regional Tournament. The number one stories from each round are reviewed by a committee to select the highest quality individual writing in each round to receive the best of round awards. Best of round winners also qualify for the state tournament. In round one, Isabel Siegel from Shaker Heights Middle School won for her piece called The Carnival. In the second round from Shaker Heights Middle School, Isabel Siegel won again for her piece called The Soccer Game. And in round three from Shaker Heights Middle School is Isabel Siegel again for her piece Why I Didn't Notice. It's quite an accomplishment to win all three rounds. So congratulations, Isabel Siegel. Now we move on to the best of round awards for the eighth graders for this year. In round one, from Shaker Heights Middle School, Zoe Stiefel, for a piece called Diamond Rain. In round two, from Shaker Heights Middle School, Zoe Stiefel, for her piece called The Hidden Piano. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, boy, that's an awful lot of Shaker Heights we've heard about. Is it possible that the first writer won all three rounds and Zoe Stiefel has won two of the first three rounds? Is it, it's not possible, is it? Let's find out. In round three, from Shaker Heights Middle School, Zoe Stiefel won for her piece called Red Rocks and Pirate Treasure. And I have to say a special congratulations, not only to these writers, because that's really impressive. I don't think I've ever seen this, and I've been in the program for over 20 years. But a special shout out to seventh grade coach Sarah Lambert and eighth grade coach Erica Pfeiffer. Whatever you're doing in Shaker, I hope that you decide to go on tour and visit all of our middle schools and charge us handsomely, because we'll pay. But we want to find out just how you do it. Congratulations. Six best of rounds, two writers. Impressive. Now we move on to the Director's Choice Awards. Director's Choice Awards are given to writing that, while not selected for best of round, deserve special recognition. These writers also qualify for the state tournament. Here are the Director's Choice Awards for seventh grade at our Lake Erie Regional. In round two, for the seventh grade, from Chagrin Falls Middle School, 
Marie Kane for a piece titled The Goat. In round three for seventh grade, from Shaker Heights Middle School, Daniel Carroll won for his piece, Invasion. Now we move on to the Director's Choice Awards for eighth grade at the Lake Erie Regional. In round one, from Solon Middle School, Selena Liao for a piece titled Red. In round one also, from Solon Middle School, Bandy Lou won for her piece called Cherries. In round three, from Ballard Brady Middle School, Lucy Campbell won for a piece titled Perfection. Congratulations to all of our Director's Choice Award winners. The final individual awards today are the District Platinum Pen Awards. All of the best of round writing from district tournaments across the state was read again by a committee to choose the winners of one of Power of the Pen's highest honors, the Platinum Pen Award. Winners of this award represent the best of student writing from the district tournaments and are eligible for publication in the Book of Winners. These students' writings will serve as a model for young writers throughout Ohio. Platinum Pet Award winners also qualify for the state tournament as long as they've participated in the regional tournament. Each Platinum Pen Award honoree will receive a certificate and instructions on how to submit their photo for the Book of Winners. The link for submitting photos is located on the Power of the Pen homepage. Here are the Platinum Pen Award winners from the Lake Erie College District event. In seventh grade, from Kirtland Middle School, Faith Blankenship won for her piece titled The Egg. In eighth grade, from St. Rita Catholic School, Liam Flynn won for his piece called Dinner Conversation. Here are the Platinum Pen Award winners from the University School District event. In seventh grade, from Shaker Heights Middle School, Isabel Siegel won for her piece called Puzzle Pieces. Also in seventh grade, from Shaker Heights Middle School, also named Isabel, Isabel Siegel for her piece called Another Reality. Another seventh grade award to another Shaker Heights, well, I should say the same Shaker Heights middle school writer, Isabel Siegel won again for a piece called By Alley. And also in seventh grade, somebody from another school shockingly won. From university school, Adonis Wozni won for a piece called Our Greatest Defense. Now there's eighth grade winners from that tournament as well. From University School, Aiden Krishnani won for a piece called Sorry. From Shaker Heights Middle School, Zoe Stiefel won for a piece called Dragon of Youth. Another eighth grade winner from Solon Middle School, Mandy Liu won for her piece titled Fire. And finally, our last eighth grade winner is from Hudson Middle School, Hannah Lee won for a piece called A Portal to Death. Congratulations, Platinum Pen winners. That's an amazing accomplishment, and it's a wonderful feather to have in your writing cap. Next up are the team awards. Overall awards are given to schools for first, second, and third place. Each team will receive a plaque to display in their school. Here are the seventh grade team awards. In third place, coached by Jenna Drozd, Ballard Brady Middle School. In second place, coached by Sarah Lambert, Shaker Heights Middle School and the first place team in seventh grade at this year's Lake Erie Regional was coached by Charlie Oberndorf, and the winner is University School. Congratulations, top three schools, and when you think about it, out of 29 schools, placing first, second, or third is quite an honor. So, congratulations, writers and coaches. Let's move on to the eighth grade teams. In third place, coached by me, Mike Fegis, Hudson Middle School. In second place, coached by Adam Levine, Mandel Jewish Day School, and the first place winning team in eighth grade, coached by Emily Masick, Solon Middle School. Congratulations, top three schools. Again, it's a wonderful achievement. Before we get onto the sweepstakes, there are a few announcements that I have to make. Schools will be notified by email of their individual results, including state qualifiers, and we will email student writing and balance. Details regarding the state tournament will be sent separately as soon as they are finalized, with state registration planned to open April 5th. Check out our social media for news about Power of the Pen. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Finally, we would love to hear from coaches, students, and parents about the impact Power of the Pen has had on their lives. We would also love for you to send us photos of students practicing, whether in their homes, at school, or in a virtual meeting. 
Use the testimonial form in the upper right-hand column of the homepage of powerofthepen.org to submit photos. And now, for the Regional Sweepstakes Award. For this honor, 7th and 8th grade teams points are compiled from district and regional events to determine the regional champion. The Sweepstakes Trophy is awarded to the winning team to display at their school until next year's regional tournament. The Lake Erie Region Trophy from 2019 is currently held by Solon Middle School. In fourth place, from Pepper Pike, coached by Jenna Drozd and Sarah Benedetto, Ballard Brady Middle School. In third place, from Hudson, coached by Mike Fegis, Hudson Middle School. In second place, from Shaker Heights, coached by Sarah Lambert and Erica Pfeiffer, Shaker Heights Middle School. And finally, in first place, the number one team at this year's Lake Erie Regional and still champions from Solon, coached by Valerie Perillo and Emily Masick, Solon Middle School. Congratulations, sweepstakes winning teams. And congratulations to all the teams at this year's tournament. We look forward to seeing the writing from many of you at the state tournament with virtual host Otterbein University on May 15th. In the meantime, stay safe and keep telling your stories.